Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play XCOM 2. Last episode we had a very crazy mission where we had to defend our ship from uh, from an actual UFO attack. Uh, killed, I don't know, 22 aliens or something like that, and only walked away with two injuries. One of which wasn't even a severe injury, so that was pretty lucky. Uh, apparently I can view soldiers here. Ah! Look at this, we even got a promotion on this character over here. Uh, this is one of the reinforcement characters that we brought in, uh, Burlo 22. So during the mission, reinforcements were coming in from the back, and Burlo was the one person who was already injured. She wasn't injured during the mission, but I guess, yeah, right at the end there, she must have gotten a kill, and uh, she's gotten a promotion. So we'll go ahead and give her that. She's got the cool hairstyle there. Um, also, we got to assign the uh, personal combat sim to someone, but we'll get there soon. Hidden ability uncovered. Oh, my lord. Um... Okay, see, this is interesting. I'm not sure how run and gun actually works. It says take an action after dashing, which is to say double move and then still take an action. But when I hit the button, it actually, my little, uh, each of your characters, when you're in combat, you have these little, um, these little brackets underneath their nameplate. And normally you have two icons there to show they have sort of two moves available, right? You know, so you can move and then take an action or you can double move, uh, for example, or you can reload and shoot. When I hit, hit um, run and gun, it actually puts a third tick under there. I wonder if it says take an action after dashing, but what it really means is you get a third action this turn in terms of implementation, which means it's possible that the sniper could single move and then still snipe. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the case. That's what it looked like, but I don't know if that's going to be the case, which makes me wonder. So, no, without knowing that, and this, this sucks, right? Without knowing that, if it works the way I would love it to work, then that means we would probably just continue to focus on making this person the best possible sharpshooter we can do. However, if it doesn't mean that, if it does mean you have to double move and then you get an action, what I think we'd much rather do is continue to work down the gunslinger. Um, well, see, that says your first action, so never mind. That doesn't Quick draw doesn't help here. Because I was going to say, if we end up in a situation... Where, yeah, so this just lets you, still takes an action for your pistol shot, but doesn't end your turn. No, that's dumb. We're going to take that from above regardless. Okay. Not that, these maps, I feel like XCOM EU, I guess you're fighting a lot more often in the city. It feels like you deal with a lot more elevation in that game. And it, there's not as many situations where I'm finding us having the ability to elevate our characters. But maybe I'm not looking hard enough. I don't know. That is entirely possible. So we have a pretty big crew going on right now. Uh, we only have two rookies left, which is interesting. We could even give them a class in the um, in the school. And I guess we should. What do we look... Can I sort by class? Oh, I can. Excellent. So let's get another Grenadier, because we've only got two. And we do really good things with them. So the Grilla Tactics School, since this is free as well, uh, we're going to get Tom Lawrence over here. And we're going to trade you as a Grenadier. Okay, well, unavailable for five days, but that's fine. Um, use the Skulljack. I still have to find a time to do that. Complete the alien encryption research, which we're not even working on right now. I'll have to get that started. Yeah, we're working on some uh, Sonics tech, which is really good. I think what we're going to do is just go back and develop another Avenger resistance contact because what we have to do is we have to move um, well either west or east either way we have to get towards the next black site we've got options for how we go around the world alien debris cleared excellent and that gives us some supply not enough to what do we need a hundred oh we need to start building armor that's what we're looking for um or we are about to get a supply drop so that's good what we're gonna do Oh, that's right, the ground assault and the Avengers. We'd get turrets to defend. That's going to be really nice later on. We need to get a power relay, though. We only have two power to spare. Technically, we can fit this in, but, like, we can't get another comms. I'm going to start on the power relay. It is going to use our money, but we're about to get a supply drop. Uh, yes, please assign an engineer to that. Thank you very much. And get that going on. Oh, I already got one going on. Fudge. Can I cancel? There's there's a way to cancel. I was seeing it before. Commander. There you go. Thank you. Power relay's coming in. Um so I think I just leave this empty then. I'm not gonna rush out the defense matrix. Uh we could clear this. Oh right, this needed two engineers for this. And I don't have two. Do I have an engineer assigned somewhere? I think I've only got the one. 
I probably could have saved a lot of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea how to translate their language. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. Well, maybe we should. We should get a cunning linguist. There we go. Excavate that. It'll give us, uh, it was gonna give us some extra alloy or something too, which is gonna be really nice. Alright. So... Yeah, let's just keep waiting over here. Heat signatures, get some more resistance contacts. I've made a number of interesting discoveries. Boom, Sonic, Come done. In. New item, advanced Psy Amp. New facility, Psy Lab. I think the Psy Lab is where we train people. I don't know what the Psy Amp does. Train rookie soldiers as Psy operatives, substituting standard soldier training for the intense mental ordeal that would unlock their latent Psyonic talents. Also, I don't think they level up in combat. I think you actually level them up in the Psy Lab. Evolved version of Psy Amp. Channels you more clearly, enabling greater sonic strength, psi offense, and psi attack damage. Some abilities improve when carrying this advanced amplifier. So they have a normal psi amp, and then you, we can build them to increase their level. So really invest in them. Could be. Um, while a lot of these are probably really tempting and will unlock some cool stuff, I'm going to go and finally I'll advance the alien encryption tech. Immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Thank you. Incoming message for you, Commander. Man, we can't do anything without being hurt. Oh, right, it's our supplies. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And we can recruit some people, including straight to a yourself. sergeant. Reveal the other event. Ooh, if they complete this, they'll get an extra block to the avatar, which is bad. The reinforcements on Gorilla Ops definitely sucks. Midnight Raids isn't the end of the world, assuming that we get a little bit of an extra supply of, um... Yeah, we're gonna investigate this. Uh, yeah. Uh, an extra su supply of rookies before that happens. We need supplies, we're gonna go straight there. Not even sure we're gonna finish this before getting interrupted, because that wasn't actually, like, a mission. That was just the end of the month. Power relay now operational. Excellent. And we got some of our supplies in. We got a lot of options as to what we will. Also, we can get bonus power by assigning engineers to here, which is good. Okay, so. We. We need more comms, which also leads to more money. Because the more places we have hooked up, the more money we get in supplies all the time. And we need to push towards the black side, otherwise, we're gonna lose. I really wanna get the Psy Lab set up. But this will probably require investing even more stuff down the road. I think it makes more United sense to build the resistance comms first. Construction initiated. And move in that direction. Then we can build the Psy one there. I, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Finish the supply drop. Nice. Yes, there's new staff waiting. We could go and look into getting a, um, a veteran soldier, but we're not doing too bad, and I'd rather spend the money on um, on building some resources. Did I just... Mexico. No! I did not click there! I was just panning the screen around, you piece of garbage. I mean, we didn't waste that much time. What the hell? I was just doing this. And it thought, oh, we clearly clicked on this. No, I did not. I wonder why it has exclamation marks on the black side. Avenger I'm going to take a look. Course. This is, a, again, a little bit of waste of time. I should be doing the scanning, but I'm curious what the information mark is here. Oh, because they change their interests every month. They want trooper corpses, laser sights, and advanced repeaters. Um, I don't. I want to keep laser sights and the repeaters for myself, but I could sell you the trooper corpses. Presumably you're paying a, a premium there. I'll keep four. It's not much money, but I'm here. Wow. Yeah, I like the laser sight. Oh, that's critical hit chance, not hit chance. And it's only 5%. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and dump that. It's okay. Do we want to buy anything with intel? We only have 5 intel left over, so we literally can't. I guess we'd have to farm intel here or get intel from missions. So we're finally running into like a shortage of intel. Which, until I discovered the black market, I was like, well, we have infinite intel. Actually, even contacting your region costs intel. So we'll finish this. Maybe a mission will give us intel, or we'll farm some of these. I am the sure HQ. you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Okay. A shadow chamber. Allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Shen to conduct highly specialized projects to decrypt the aliens' most valuable secrets. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Um, I think if we decrypt the alien data cache, 
I think this might be a repeatable one whenever we find one of these and gives us intel. So I'm going to go and do that because apparently we're short on intel. Priority commander, I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. So does this give us plus one contacts? Oh, training complete. All right, carry on. Resistant contacts plus one. Yes, indeed. Which means if we had intel, we could attempt to make Commander, contact over here. Right now, we don't have enough intel to get a solid bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. We could pick up some rookies, especially since buying them was going to be more expensive next month, and we are going to want some side. But I think the thing to do Seven is to go over here, farm Mexico. a little bit of intel at home, using the passive ability of our base, which we haven't replaced with Commander, anything else. The aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. Completed New construction where they built it. Up around the world. Okay. Well, we still need some intel. And it's a new month of progress there. Okay, the Avatar project Remember, is really moving. <laughs> continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Okay, I still need 30 intel though. You didn't give me any. Oh, it's coming in really slowly. All right, Girl Ops. <sighs> Engineer's good. Killing the reinforcements is also really nice. Ooh, okay, this was moderate. This one's difficult. It does give me intel, which is nice, and it counters the advancement of the Avatar project. I think we have to do that. Objective, protect the device. Oh, that's a new mission. I haven't done that before. Recover item would give us a Grenadier. Cancel the midnight rains. No, we have to go to New, New Mexico. I don't like the fact that it says difficult. We'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Yeah, I know. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put that on 91 bit over here. Because we've got plenty of grenades going on. Oh, I never did, um. Build the armor. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know if we have an arc blade either. Oh, we still don't have enough. We need... Oh! I sold the Advent Trooper Corpses. Poop. Okay. Tell you what, then. Let's go ahead and make an arc blade. Oh, only one? That's weird. And let's give it to Hirasatru over here. Hang on, did it just upgrade everyone to have an arc blade? Because she does. Oh my god, if I finish the body armor, is it just going to give everyone the better armor? Because, yeah, they both got the arc blades. Oh, shit. Oh, then I would have prioritized... Oh, which really wish I hadn't sold those corpses. Um, So who do I need to give the willpower boost to? Does it matter? I wonder if you need it, like, if the PsyOps get better with willpower, so maybe we'll hold off on that. So, any other gear needs to be changed? Uh, what about our comp here? We don't have a specialist. Double sharpshooter. I think... Whoops. I accidentally clicked out of there. It's got the wrong thing selected. There you go. I mean, it said New Mexico here, but Eastern US was selected over here. So let's make sure we got the right one. I think we're going to be okay with one ranger. I think we're going to go in concealed. So yeah, let me remove you. I'll mostly just bring firepower and get a specialist. We could maybe bring someone who's... Oh, and then, you know what? This is a difficult mission. Let's bring our highest class specialist. And we don't have... Uh, oh, dragon rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean we don't have someone with the spotter tech, but that's going to be okay. All right, launch mission. As always, I'm going to put a bit of a cut here between the load scenes. See you on the other side. All right, and we are in. So it looks like this is an interesting reversal of the standard sort of hack or destroy mission in that there is a data terminal over here, interceptor data interceptor device that has a bunch of hit points, but the aliens are going to be trying to destroy it. So 
This is, it's not a time mission, and yet it clearly is because we have to get there and kill all the aliens before they smash the device up. I suspect that once we're in range, they'll probably prioritize us over the aliens or over the device, but um, to start off with, we're definitely gonna be on a bit of a time pressure. Um, it seems really unlikely that this double move would be bad, but let's go ahead and, there's an elevated, where would this go? We can get upstairs? We can get all the way up here. That is hell of good cover. It would suck if there was an alien up there. I mean, we're not gonna do it here, but we'll use it with the snipers. Um, I'm gonna single move up to here. Good copy. Just move confirm that there's nothing that's gonna spot us if we move a little further forward. There's not, that's uh, just a watchtower. Okay, which we may or may not hack. On the move. Finished scooching up over here. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Oh, okay. That's, thank you, phone, for letting me know something. I don't know if you guys could hear that buzzing. <laughs> it was really loud. Um, now, that is actually really good that we spotted those, because now what I want to know is, if I move up here, will that move into sight? No, it will not. And those civilians are down below, on, on the roof of this little storage container, which is interesting. So it looks like I should be able to move up here and not get spotted. I don't think we'll be able to shoot right away, but this is the death from above, right? Yeah, single action, doesn't end your turn, just wonderful. Copy that. So let's pop up over there and hope that there's not some sort of trap waiting for us. That would be pretty demoralizing. Since there was no way to carefully spot our way up. Alright, seems okay. Do I want to move a second sniper up there? I mean, we're not going to be able to shoot people inside of buildings from here. But otherwise, it seems pretty okay. I'm hoping all these cars are stopped. Could you imagine if we were actually just, Let's like, moving this. onto a freeway where the cars were still moving? And they're just, like, paused because, you know, it's turn-based. And then, between turns, these cars are going to move forward and crush my characters. That's interesting. Uh, so it seems like we can move here safely. We are aware of these dudes. So, presumably, that's not a lie. Because there shouldn't be... Like, there's, there's nothing that can spot us here unless there's some weird behavior with the civilians. No, no, everything is fine. Um, and we're gonna move up here. Got it covered. And we got more and more action after that. We're gonna move to. I see no reason not to move here. Ten four. I suppose if there's some patrolling over here, I could get flanked a little bit more easily, but it doesn't seem likely. So they're still hanging up over there. We can't get full cover anywhere, which is a little bit annoying, but what's important is we still won't get spotted from here. I could take a shot now. I'm not gonna face off. I mean, that's a lot of pistol shots, which is great, but we're quite far away. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna set up designated coordinates. for a snipe on the next turn. I'll technically pistol overwatch because... Well, no, you know what? If we do get spotted, like, pistol overwatch would trigger if something broke our concealment. And then we'd shoot. If something breaks our concealment, I actually want to be hunkered down. Although it's unlikely that they'd shoot. You know what? Just hunker down to be safe. Just... I don't know. Paranoia, man. Keeps you alive. Closing on target position now. Covering... I just have to make sure these guys don't set up anything. If I move, it's hard to actually get um, proper vision here. If I move here, I'll be able to spot them from that spot. Good. So let's do that. Roger that. I mean, we're not going to have a great firing angle, but we could just nuke the building, which would also be pretty good. No overwatch this character. Eyes on just the because he's under full cover, and that's pretty strong. Could you take a route that doesn't break a window? Yes, yeah, you like that. That would be better. I don't. Oh, we could do a hack. Hang on. First, let me move Ultimate Thull. Again, if I move here, I do technically have a firing solution. Even here might be a little bit better. It's closer to the, the way out. So let's do that. Understood. It's a good thing the civilians don't really look down. And we'll just, yeah, we're just gonna overwatch. We're not gonna fire on this turn. 
Although if the hack fails, bad things will happen. Headed there now. Overwatch, oh, that's really unlikely to break my Overwatch with this Covering character. Now. So if there's a chance, if a failed hack will lead to like breaking concealment, I'm not gonna do it. What is my hacking skill is the question. I wonder if you can get a personal combat sim to improve your hacking. Fail hack will result in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to your position. Yeah, I'm, I don't want that. Although, these are really good outcomes. But it's too big of a risk. So we'll just overwatch. Actually, that's scanning protocol. So presumably there's some aliens over there. Ah, oh, that was a uh, that was a faceless one. We've uncovered. I don't know why like it revealed that way, but I mean I don't know. We just like put a pin on him as like the person's actually faceless. And another one. Sons of bitches. But we may not actually. We do have to neutralize all enemy targets. We will have to kill it at some point. But now that we know what it is, we're in a much much better shape. Oh no! By waking him up, he's gonna start smashing the tower. What the fuck? That that is completely gonna screw things up. If we left them dormant, they wouldn't have gone to attack. They might have killed some people. But now I'm actually not sure that we're gonna be able to do this. What uh it makes no sense that the faceless became uncovered. They should have just like still been acting like a civilian. Except we should know what they are. It actually makes no sense this outcome. Okay, our sniper's on the roof. Uh, we're gonna overwatch them both. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grenade these fuckers. Scanning. I'm on it. I don't think I'm gonna overwatch with the rest. We're gonna keep uh, some options open that way. Because we might actually have to move. Uh, this is very awkward. Rotate around. I'm sure there was a way that hit everyone? There it is. Grenada! Hit everyone and destroy part of the building so they take falling damage. Thump. Now the one downside is if someone dies and from falling damage, I don't think we get credit for a kill. Whoa, they fell really far. Now I'm actually really unsure if the... Oh. Did it kill them all? They're onto us! Well, not everyone. The mutants, mutons, still alive. Not for long. Bam. But I think everyone else did. There you go. Now, I'm betting. Yeah, I don't think we got credit for those kills. I think gravity kills do not give you credit, so it means you don't get experience points, which is less good. On the other hand, that was a hell of a way to take out some dangerous opposition. So now I'm going to try the hack, because I'm no longer concealed. I'll scooch up to here, just in case this reveals something. We might get some useful information. Nope. Alright. Because there's like a 50-50 chance here that we will get a, um, a lead on a black site facility, which would be huge. Well worth the action. Yeah, being alerted to my position. Oh, and we easily succeeded. Actually, we might have been able to get the other one, but which wouldn't have been, honestly, that necessarily that important. Because we've only used one action, plus the Overwatch, which we don't get back regardless. Um... Now, Molly, you're still concealed. Perfect. Go ahead and double move to here. I don't know if that's going to really give us more vision. You shouldn't get flanked from here, so this will give us good sight inside the building, although I'm pretty sure we already have full sight. Yeah, alright, everything is groovy. So, I feel very secure in just double moving here with another character. There shouldn't be anything that brings danger. And we still have an overwatching sniper above. Now, I'm not sure that the snipers are actually going to be in position to shoot anything else on the map. 
don't know, maybe with some squad sight, something might work out. So this is what I'm worried about with these guys. Are they? Oh, they're not actually smashing the thing. Are they killing civilian? <gasps> I was close enough that they decided to come after me, maybe. Wow, take six damage and become poison, punk. Are you gonna smash my character? Yeah, I didn't check, but I'm betting that I accidentally moved someone within vision range, like my, my grenadier over here. Must be within range of the faceless, or they somehow found out something else, but unless he's got reach, he's not going to be able to hit me. Alright, well, that's not so bad. Although... Yeah, they definitely spotted me, because... Oh, no, no, I have my action. That was their turn. That was literally their turn. Well, shit. Okay, so we've got Deadeye ability on this character. Now, it doesn't say what... Okay, 69. What's the base attack? 92. Oh, that is a huge penalty to hit. Like, oof, plus two damage. Yeah, but... Suckage. I'm gonna take this. 92% is fantastic. Deadeye, that's, like, really bad. I can see how it could be useful on a sniper, because a sniper can find themselves in a position where they have, like, 100% to hit, which might actually be, like, they have 120% to hit or something like that. So it makes sense to take a penalty to hit at that point. But until then... Now, do I want to aid protocol here? I don't think so. I think we can probably kill these things. I was going to say, oh my god, what if it turns out I've revealed someone over here? Um, 93 is better than 80. Or 83 is better than 80. But... Here, I have to roll the 5 damage to get a kill. Here, a 4 or a 5 gets a kill. What if I just grenade these guys? Hmm. No, let's take this. Um, there's no window there, buddy. Ah, we would have rolled the 5 damage, but, you know, there's no way to know. Promotion? Excellent. I'm gonna use... Yeah, I was gonna say I wanna use a sniper next. Oh, we don't actually have... Oh, you have line... No, this is a different character. No, neither one of my snipers actually has line of sight. Which is very unfortunate. If I move here, there we go. I we can get a shot. It. And of course the minigun does pretty good damage. It's not perfect, could still hit and not kill. But it got it. Okay, that's all known aliens. They happy now? There's probably still some more. Yeah, we have not neutralized all targets. We're still concealed here, which is wonderful. I think. I'm going to move here. There's a chance I move into someone's sight radius? It doesn't seem likely. Um, I'm also tempted to move my snipers. Like, to here. Or maybe this backside. I don't know where things are going to spawn. Is there a way to get up on the roof anymore? Not from here. There's no, there's no pipe. There's no climbing. Still, I think it's worth making this move with my sniper get it closer to the action, because she can go on the roof of this building later on, or the other building's roof, or, or something of that nature. There's a lot of options. Maybe not directly. I don't know if there's stairs. I will figure something out. I did not expect anything to get revealed by that move, and I sure as fuck didn't expect three sectoids. Well, on that cliffhanger, I think we're going to go and put a cut in this episode. I hope you're enjoying this series, folks. Things are about to get a little shitty. Thanks for watching. See you next time.